Trillions of dollars are exchanged in the property market here in Australia every single year. Every single year, trillions of dollars. All you need to do is stick your hand out and grab a little bit of it. Why wouldn't some of that be yours? The last year or so has been tough on many, many people. Um, with the global financial crisis, people have gone into debt, they've got debt that they're worried about, that they had previous, but they're now worried about and they're, they're worried about their jobs. So getting out of bad debt fast is a big thing for many, many people. See, it is hard to get started because it can be a little bit scary sometimes and no one knows this better than myself. You know, this is something that you know terrified me for quite some time, but there's a point in time we just got to go, you know what, just got to jump. I just got to do it. Most people, in fact, 79% of people retire on an income of less than $15,000 a year. And this is most people. So how different do you think you're going to be from these people? We all think in our heads, yes, I'm going to be different. I'm going to make a future for myself. But where are you now? I want you to ask yourself, where, have you, where are you up to? And are you close to doing that? And that leaves us with two things. You know, what's important to us? Is it job security? Or is it financial security? What's important to you guys? Financial security, fantastic. Well, residential investment property does give us this kind of financial security. Now, we've all heard about the global financial crisis. Anyone who hasn't heard of it? No? All right, I tell you what, I'm kind of over it. Who's over it? Yeah. But here's the thing, over the last two years, the Australian property market has continued to be strong. It's continued to go on. In fact, some may argue it has defied the odds in a little way. Here, I didn't know when I started whether I should go into units or should I go into house and land because apparently house and land was good. None of these are wrong or right. It's just about mixing and matching what suits you best because none of us are molded from the same mold. We're not out of cookie cutters, you know? We're not all the same. And it was important, I found that no one addressed the fact that it was important to understand the individual situation. You see, it's not about working in the industry. You do need to understand the industry, absolutely, but where there's leverage is where you're connected or you know someone in the industry and you're able to get mates rates. I'm going to go through the 10 steps to wealth through property investment. The first step, and take these down, first is to locate a property. Some of these steps are going to be relatively easy, but I'm going to go into them in more and more detail. When you locate a property, I recommend that you only look at three areas and look at areas that have an average growth of 10%. And you might say, well, that's hard, that's stupid. No, it's not. They're out there. We have a research process, and this is what we call the funnel. At the very top of the funnel, we look at location. Look at value for money. So when you know every single two-bedroom unit that's on, on sale for the, in that particular area, you will know, well, what's selling at 300,000 and what's the difference for those that are selling at 400,000. Step number two. Now you've found your property, it's time to negotiate. Provide evidence of every single property that is similar to yours, but better than yours, and has sold for less than yours. You want to negotiate your price to below market value. This is the whole point of this. All right, step three, you need a clean house. So people, if you've got existing debts, this is the time to start taking care of those debts. Make sure that all your debts are up to date, um, if you have trouble around financing your existing debts, speak to someone that can help you. All right, you've got to make sure that you have control over all your existing debts. Make sure that all debt repayments are up to date and on time. Check your credit rating. Step number four, it's important to have a strategy. A lot of people go into purchasing property, investing in property without understanding what their end outcome is. When it comes to an investment property, the two largest parts of your repayments are made up by the tax person and the renter. If there is a gap, then you meet that gap. Some people don't even have a gap and that's what we call neutrally geared. And for those of you where there's more money left over, it means that the property is positively geared. Who's heard negative gearing's bad? Yep. Now, who's heard negative gearing is good? There's a few of you as well. My answer to this is it's neither. You know, it's one or the other depending on your personal circumstances. But how do you purchase property with no money at all? And that is other people's money. All right, here's an example of uh, one of the ways that I've done it. This is a property and the purchase price is 424000 The borrowed equity that I got left into the property was $75,000. So in other words, I was buying it for $75,000 less than what it was worth. 
The bank loan I took out, and I, uh, the bank loan was $370,000, and the result was I got 100% finance, and it wasn't in my name. So I was able to buy this property, absolutely no money for free, not a single dollar come out of my own pocket. All right, step number five is your finance application. This is really important. What you need to do is work out how much you can repay. And that's really, really easy. You can go onto any website, you can speak to any broker or any bank and they'll be able to tell you how much you can afford to repay. All right, number six, negotiate the sales terms. Most people think they've got the property, it's all ready to go. But the important thing is you do need to negotiate the sales terms. Now here's an example of one of my best clients and what we were able to do with her particular property. What did we do? The actual value of the property was five million. She'd negotiated using the same formula that I gave you to 4.5 million and I helped her do that. Now, the delayed settlement that she got was six months. I mean to say she could exchange on the property but she didn't need to pay for it for six months. Then the deposit that she put down, now for a 4.5 million dollar place, you'd think it would be at least 10%, right? $450,000. She only had to put in a $200,000 deposit, which was, right, the vendor really needed to get out. So what she said is, okay, I'm not ready to settle, but what I will do is I'll make monthly repayments to you to cover your costs. The vendor was like, great, why wouldn't I do a long settlement? Because it's all taken care of. She got early access six months before settlement. So I mean today, the day of the exchange, she was able to get into the property. She's now renovating the property, okay? So she doesn't own it yet. She's exchanging it, she's renovating the property. Now when you renovate a property, adding value or taking value away? You're adding value, right? So what did happen in the end? This property is now valued at $7 million. Because it's valued at higher, she's able to borrow at the higher amount. This means that she was able to borrow $4.5 million, which is her purchase price. Okay, step number seven, this is settlement. This is when the property becomes yours and you exchange keys. Step number eight, settlement doesn't end there. Step number eight, it's the time to add value to the property. We're constantly trying to add value, whether that be by trying to um, maneuver the valuation of the property with the valuers or actually physically making changes to the property. Step number nine, this is maintenance. Set up direct, uh, direct payments. So make sure that your payments come out regularly without you needing to think about it. Make sure that all your bills are kept up to date. This is extremely important. Find ways to increase the rental income. This is one thing most people don't do, is they get the property, they then rent it out, and then they just let the market do its thing. But what we want to do is find ways to increase the rental income. All right, step number 10, this is when you cash in and grow. You can decide whether to sell or to hold the particular property, or you can choose to sell the property with the most equity and the least rental return. And the reason for this is you want to make the most cash flow and get rid of the property that's not performing the best. What you need to do is get connected as an investor. So as a connected investor, you can buy property with none of your own money. You can get properties revalued and make a profit within months. You can accumulate a property portfolio faster than a normal retail buyer. Why? Because we're getting mates rates. Okay? You can create positive cash flow to live on and you can have an asset base to retire on for the rest of your life. You just need to connect. You just need to make that connection so you can go out and get mates rates. So what we have is um, a product called or a, a club called the Property Club and this allows people to get connected. This is a situation where people can get connected, get the mates rates and have all the knowledge um, and all the strategies that I've just given you plus more. So what a, this program can do is teach you how to become an advanced property strategist. It will help you buy property with none of your own money. It will teach you how to get out of bad debt fast. We also teach you how to have property solutions for every scenario. Because so, everyone's different, remember? Every, no one's a cookie cutter form. We all differ. We can create cash flow that you can retire on. What will you learn from this? What the right investment strategy is for you? You'll learn how to start investing with no money, how to source properties under market value. You get phenomenal property strategies. You'll learn how to arrange a successful syndicate. You'll learn how to use opium or other people's money and borrowed equity. You'll learn how to find and flick property. You'll learn how to get out of bad debt fast. You'll be able to find the right investment. You'll also learn how to create your magic team. Whatever happens, what I'd like you to do is make, actually take a step, get started, jump into the market, do something, create something for yourself because like I said, I'm no different to you. There's always an opportunity in everyone. Sometimes we just need the extra knowledge and a, and a helping hand.